the Dubai Global Village. Today is the last day of the Dubai Global Village season 28 and I'm here with my friend Sai. Do you remember Sai in the video of 1 billion followers summit? I have Sai This is the here. same guy, he's traveled all the way from India and he is here with me to enjoy the experience at the Dubai Global Village. Let's go and take our ticket to explore what is Let's in each go. pavilion. Let's go! But before heading any further, let me explain. The Dubai Global Village is an attraction that brings the world to Dubai. Because of its shopping, entertainment, and dining experiences. Season 28 started on 28th of October 2023 until today, 8th of May 2024. Sai, are yes, you ready man. to explore? Yes, man, yes, man. I mean, this is my second time here and I'm looking forward to explore more. Let's go. It's beautiful as usual, you know. It's a global village. <laughs> Give me ice cream. Cream. And yes. then you do like this. Okay, okay. Eh? okay. You do like this. Okay, okay. <laughs> come, come. <laughs> come, 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 come. Hello. <laughs> I don't need ice cream, so. Hello, 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 hello. Thank you, <laughs> How are you? I'm good, bro. How about you? Where are you from? Now, India. What are you doing? Shahrukh Khan. Shahrukh Khan. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Uh, how much is that? Me no, me no, me no. <laughs> me no, 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 me no, me no. Oh, oh, buriyani, buriyani. Come, 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 come. How are you? How are you? Oh, yeah, la. Yeah, la, yeah, la, yeah, la. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I ended up buying a ice cream that I was not prepared for. <laughs> Sai, how did you see the Turkey Pavilion? Loved it man, loved it. The ice cream was good. We ended up buying the ice cream. Yeah, we ended up buying it. 25 ice cream. <laughs> so expensive. This is the most expensive ice cream I ever consumed. Me too, me too, me too man. Yeah, so that was Istanbul, Turkey, uh -huh. and now we are heading to Pakistan. Yeah, and one, one thing to mention, we did yeah. some hard work to get the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> we hustled <laughs> to get it. Oh, yeah, it's fun, right? Yeah, it's fun. It's cool, fun. yeah. Let's head down to Pakistan. Here. Let's go to Pakistan. Yeah. Beautiful. The Pakistan Pavilion is one of the first pavilions as you enter the global village from this side. So we're going right inside to see what is here. Hi bro, how, how are, are you? you? Amazing. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. Mashallah. You good? Thank you bro. Welcome. <laughs> Here we found different textile shops for Pakistani clothes, restaurants, and the pavilion is fully designed as if we are in Pakistan. Look at these beautiful clay pots. Different types of clay pots. And the Pakistan textile is everywhere. And now, this is UAE. UAE Pavilion. See the Museum of the Future. The UAE Pavilion is well designed from outside. And on top of that is this UAE map that was painted showing different visitable destinations and popular attractions of the country. And the moment you get inside, you get stunned by the products made from UAE. Hello, 
brother. Welcome. How are you? Fine, brother. How are you? Amazing. Where are you from, brother? Me. Upon entering in the back of the pavilion, different shops and the ground architecture that resembles the old UAE markets, the old-fashioned furniture, and and now the Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan Foundation. This foundation was founded by the UAE president with the sole purpose of helping needy communities, building hospitals, roads, and all. So they have a pavilion here in the Dubai Global Village. Upon entering, you'll find different Emirati attire for kids and adults, different shops, so a lot of shopping is happening here and the experience is amazing here. The UAE pavilion made me experience the old and the new. In short, I will say, the pavilion depicts the country's proud past and the bright future. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and wherever you will see this video. This video was made on the last day of the Dubai Global Village and I want to give you the full experience of this. And now, let's go to Syria. Let's go to Syria, it's Syria time. The Syria Pavilion presents a lot of Syria spices and food from different stores and shops around and a lot of handmade handicrafts around plus the Syrian ice cream the taste of the ice cream plus there is a lot of artwork you can buy a souvenir for someone this is a very big sitting area where you can sit and enjoy the food plus we also had some Syrian sweets as we are waiting for the fireworks to come Yeah. <laughs> Be sure to join us next time for some more incredible live shows. Thank you and good night. Sai, where are we heading now? 
Korea. It's Korea time. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. The Korea pavilion is beautifully designed from the outside with the Korean dramas. This is a very big symbol that with which the country is known for. The dramas that used to drum while changing the guards. And the concept starts from outside. And from inside there is a story I want to understand. Whoever knows this, please let me know what is the use of this story, the tree, the two people, and the beautiful picture behind. Korea Pavilion is beautifully designed with the Korea street foods. You can get to enjoy this when you visit the Korea Pavilion while you are on your shopping, shopping for the Korean designs. And from the Korea Pavilion, outside was full. Lots of restaurants, lots of people visited the Global Village. This was the last time of the 28th season of the Dubai Global Village. A lot of circus swings people are having experience before it is closing. And now, Thailand Pavilion. The golden front of the Thailand Pavilion quickly draws attention to the visitors at the first sight. And inside is a lot of shops selling Thai street foods as well as incredible Thai fruits like mangoes, bananas, plus a lot of other items as well as clothes. <laughs> hello, hello, hi. <laughs> how are you? How are you? <laughs> yeah. That was good. And now it's Japan Pavilion with the front of Japan Pavilion designed with a Japanese warrior with a sword and a beautiful architecture of Japan Pavilion welcomes you with a number of shops selling Japanese products here at the Dubai Global Village. But most importantly, this restaurant, Takoyaki, where we ate some of the Japanese food and have the experience of our life. I'll take an eight piece. Come here, sir. Okay. Give me a one. It's time to try. Takoyaki, yeah? Ta takoyaki chicken. <laughs> this is the magic moment. Look at this. Chicken. Yeah. Nice. Yummy, nice. yummy, yummy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is the magic moment. Yeah. Uh huh. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We had to sit there and enjoy takoyaki, but we decided to eat while we're standing. My mouth is burning, man. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was Japan Pavilion. We had experience of our time, enjoyed takoyaki, and right now we are going to... This is the road to Asia. Is the corridor between pavilions in the backside. You see, Americas, this is the backside of Americas and Afghanistan. So, let's go to Afghanistan. Afghanistan Pavilion is one of the best pavilions and exhibits a lot of products from Afghanistan, like these carpet makers. 
and a lot of others fine art like this beautiful one i don't know who made it the guy was not here plus spices like these and a lot of nuts lots of products like this syrup basically it's all about products from afghanistan and remember we came from the backside in the road to asia and i want you to see the beauty of the front side of afghanistan pavilion you can see this is the front side so when you come from this side the view is different right now we are so hungry and it was time to have food we stopped by this restaurant to have some food yeah we are having, having some pakistani food at bundus khan this is it? yeah so we're gonna have some experience here at the pakistan restaurant and then we continue yeah the railway market where sweet things happen. Oh my god. Sai, what are we gonna do? It's desert time. Ooh, on the railway market where sweet things happen. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now, China Pavilion. As you enter the gates of a Chinese pavilion, the mindset is China is all about manufacturing, manufacturing, and manufacturing. But that's not all. China pavilion possesses a beautiful architecture each step of the way, as well as a beautiful Chinese cultural products like Chinese teapots and a lot of others. Customers flock in the Chinese pavilion to have the experience as if you are in China. And by the time you get out of the Chinese pavilion, the mindset is already changed. The Dubai Global Village makes you understand that modernity and culture can be side by side with our next adventure at the mini world. Season 28 Dubai Global Village took visitors to a wide range of captivating destinations in one area and enriched visitors with the diversity of cultures and landmarks from White House to the pyramids just in the same place. India The India Pavilion is one of the largest and the most colorful pavilion in the Dubai Global Village. The pavilion showcased a lot of India-made products. India being another industrial giant and one of the most populous country is one of the most visited pavilions in the Dubai Global Village. Visitors turn up here in numbers to buy Indian-made products as well as enjoying Indian delicacies. From Indian chai to biryani, this is a perfect spot and my visit in the Indian pavilion made me visit India out of India and the experience is unimaginable. Yes, thanks so much for watching until the end of the video and that was Dubai Global Village season 28. I didn't complete the video of the mini world, I will bring it in a full video. And uh, thanks so much for watching. See you next time in the next video. Godspeed everyone.